the start of the monkeypox outbreak, there has only been one experimental treatment option. But this week, the U.S. government purchased more than 300,000 courses of another drug that was invented at UC San Diego. ABC 10 News first told you about this drug last month. Anchor Derek Stahl is going in-depth. The treatment is called Tembexa, and it was invented by Dr. Carl Hostetler at UC San Diego in 1999. He did it by modifying the chemical structure of another drug at the request of the federal government, which urgently wanted a pill to treat smallpox. It took just one try. That was the first one. Worked right away. They said, can you do it? We said, well, we're pretty sure we can. Smallpox and monkeypox come from the same virus family, and lab tests show the drug works well against both. This week, the U.S. government paid $115 million to order 319,000 treatment courses of Tembexa from Chimerix, the company Hostetler founded but no longer works for. You know, that was exciting, and of course it took a long time, but when we started working on this, we didn't think it was going to take a long time. Now that there is a possibility to to use it in the human disease, I, I'd like to see it used. So far, patients with severe monkeypox have only had access to a different experimental drug called T-pox, also invented for smallpox. But T-pox has drawbacks. Patients have to take six pills a day for 14 days, 84 pills in all, and they have to maintain a high-fat diet. Tembexa is just four pills total. And there's another issue. Obviously, the biggest concern is that the virus mutates such that it's easier to transmit or it becomes more lethal. Um, we know that there are more lethal strains out there. Dr. Randall Lanier of Chimerix out. points to a study by the FDA that showed T-pox can actually induce mutations that can make a pox virus resistant to drugs. But Tembexa, also known as Brinsidofavir, doesn't do that. Given the potential for creating a drug-resistant strain in the laboratory, uh, Brinsidofavir is really a critical piece of the armamentarium for the U.S. He says the company will ship Tembexa to the national stockpile soon, and there are already discussions about deploying it to doctor's offices in clinical trials. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News.